another relationship that I was involved with turned fairly bad and that's when I hit rock bottom. And I would get home if I'd gone to work and I'd be looking up at the girders, which one can I hang the rope off, you know, which is going to be the best girder. Had it, I'd been drinking and I uh, went to the, my gun cabinet that I had and there was a shotgun, double barrel shotgun in there. Um, I put two rounds in, the, in it and just had it cracked over my knee and just thought to myself, you know, how, how bad I felt and the worst part about me having done that, my ex-partner and my six-year-old son walked into the factory where I'm sitting there, my six-year-old son saw me with the gun across my leg and he would remember that and that stays with me for the rest of my life. Kite surfing is a relatively new sport. It combines wakeboarding, windsurfing, paragliding and gymnastics. To date, Lewis Tapper has completed the longest recorded journey covering over 2,000 kilometres between Salvador and Sao Luis, Brazil. Nick is attempting to circumnavigate Australia over 25,000 kilometres. We've estimated that the journey will take approximately uh, well, anything from 15 to 18 months, possibly less depending on how we go with our fundraising and how that works. Um, we'll be starting from Melbourne, going anti-clockwise, um, and we need to be in where the tropic zone starts before the wet season, so we need our car to be able to travel by road. Uh, we don't want to be in cyclones in the boat. Um, less box jellyfish that time of year. Uh, so there's a number of factors as to why. So the linchpin really is the wet season for us, so for safety reasons, of course. Um, and on that journey, we will be attending as many community groups, as many schools, men's sheds, all different areas that people suffer from depression. Suicide and depression is a prominent health concern in Australia. The average number of deaths is 2,500 per year, with an estimated one in six people suffering from depression. Caution should always be exercised in reporting and interpreting suicide and self-harm information. Suffice it to say, it affects us all. Like I think, um, obviously, you, you want to look at your, your muscular fitness for a start, um, especially foiling your cardiovascular system does work to a point, um, but it's more so muscle fatigue. So you need to work, we need to be working on our muscle endurance. Um, and there's no better way to do that than to do what we're doing. So to be foiling as I am nearly every day. A normal kite surfer is in the water and you'll, um, you'll plane along just like you, you know, if you've been on a speedboat it starts planing and everything becomes easier and faster. Uh, a normal kite board planes, the kite foil uses wings like on an aeroplane and it rises the board up out of the water so all that's in the water is two, two wings. Yeah well there's a lot less drag as you could appreciate the difference between the surface area of a board planing and just the wings in the water, I don't know the difference in surface area but once you lift out of the water, there's a whole lot less drag, so you can go faster, um, easier, without the waves slowing down, using less sail area. And try and do at least 30 k's every day, uh, whether I'm out there for half an hour, whether I'm out there for three hours, whether I do 60 k's, I'm out there all the time. Um, and I'm working on those muscle groups now. Uh, running's probably a good one if you can run. Um, 
Uh, yeah, and certainly the gym, but I don't see the gym as being totally um, beneficial. I think you need that muscular endurance. The best way to get that is to be um, is to be doing what you're going to be doing. He wants to make you die. If, um, if we think about where we're going to start, that's where we're going to finish. Um, this is all about getting our message across. It's all about um, helping the people that need the help and the best way to do that is through the media. So we need to be leaving from where we live, um, whether it's inside Port Phillip Bay, whether it's my hometown of Mornington, whether it's uh, St Kilda area. Um, but I think that that's a really important point as to where we leave from because that's where we're going to end up and we need that we need that media attention leaving and returning for what we're doing. The way the weather works is that the prevailing winds follow anti-clockwise around the country and that is the way that we'll be um, kiteboarding. Um, all the yachts that do circumnavigation of Australia go anti-clockwise um, so it's just the general idea of where sailcraft go, which direction. We've got seven to eight months to get across the top end before the wet season starts again, which is approximately Busted Head all the way around to Exmouth in WA is the tropic zone and then obviously depending on who you speak to that varies too. But um, we have seven to eight months to get through there. And the seasons are changing all the time so that's not to say that we, we leave, we get there right on time to say there's, we're not going to catch a cyclone but this is where the weather people come in. Yeah, we need that back up. There's many dangers like jellyfish, sharks, crocodiles, no wind, drowning, but there's also other ones that you know you're only gonna find out about when they happen. So many more, I thought you should know you're my angel. We intend to raise over one million dollars and are working closely with the Beyond Blue Foundation to spread the word and help people across Australia recover from depression. There is no proven method, but help does exist. We need your support.